Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of a neat new quadcopter. This is the Maker Fire Armor 90, 90 millimeter brushless micro FPV quadcopter. Um, this is Maker Fire's, um, this is actually a uh, prototype for the uh, Maker Fire. Um, it, it doesn't have everything incorporated in it already, but this version here is currently available and it will be uh, first available in DSM versions, you know, DSM 2, DSM X. But hopefully later versions will have uh, Fly Sky and Free Sky bind and fly. Uh, let's go over the quadcopter. It does have uh, 7,500 kV motors, uh, four and one ESCs. I don't know the amperage yet. <laughs> they didn't publish the amperage on those ESCs, but they are one shot D shot 300 uh, ESC capable. Um, it does have an omnibus F3 flight control board. Uh, all, additionally, that flight control board is loaded up with what? Hold on, folks. I got it here. I forgot to write it down what it was loaded up with, but it is loaded up with Betaflight, uh, one of the newer versions of Betaflight, at least the one that I got here. Um, it does have on-screen display. In addition to that, on-screen display, it is um, you can adjust the PIDs using the on-screen dis display uh, via menus. There's menu commands for adjusting PIDs on this in the field if you wish to do so. Uh, and it does have a 48 channel, 25 milliwatt, uh, uh, FPV camera, I believe it's 600 TVL. So, now going over this thing, uh, the one thing I didn't like about this is I had a hard time binding it. Uh, to bind uh, the receiver is in this uh, protective case on top, this little UFO looking case on top. I had to pop this top to get access to the receiver. I hope in future versions, you know, the, in post prototypes, the the ones that are mass produced, uh, they come up with a way to easily access that receiver because I had a heck of a time getting in there to bind the receiver to my DSM. You know, I had to remove four screws on the bottom here and pop the top to get in there. So, uh, other than that, that's about it, folks. Let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we're going to go fly the Maker Fire right now. The first thing I want to show you something here. If you hold the throttle to the left, and, or the, yeah, the throttle and yaw, midpoint and to the left and push the pitch roll stick all the way up you have control over the pids and other uh, profile functions of this quad cup um, using just the on-screen display uh, I'm just going to show you real quick let's go into profile and select and then we can go into pids see so pretty darn cool you can you can adjust this out in the field Okay, we are going to fly it now. Let me go back and exit out of this menu. And I apologize today, folks. I got a little bit of laryngitis here, so um, I'm going to try to keep my voice to a minimum here. But let's—we're going to. We are in acro, and I'm arming the quadcopter, and away we go. I want to see how this performs first. We're going down the field one time, coming up the other direction up the field. Try to roll, rolls nicely, actually rolls very nicely. Try the other way. Okay. Well, now let's try, see how it's maneuverable it is. Let's take it down through the trees. It is flying smoothly, folks. You know, uh, not aggressive, but smooth. Let me bring it by us to show it to you. Slowing it down a bit. Just flying slow flyby. Going through the trees. <laughs> See what I mean? This thing's tuned right out of the box. <laughs> to allow you to, to do stuff like that. I don't want it up to the trees again. <laughs> yeah. Kinda like this. And I apologize for my voice again, folks. Um, I had done like eight videos in a row the other day, and that really damaged my voice. It's just starting to come back now. I really shouldn't be doing this right now, to tell you the truth, but I got to do it. <laughs> I, got, I got the itch to fly, and I got to fly. So, yeah, this is nice maneuverable. Let's see you let's do some slalom. Actually, I should have went, whoa, I don't want to hit that tree. Yep, maneuverable little bugger. <laughs> I like it. The Aurora 90. 
from Maker Fire. Let's go over the top. Try it over end over end. That worked fine. I hope this is recording, folks, <laughs> on my goggles, because I want to share this one. This one's a nice little quad. Okay, let's try speed, though. Now, you know, speed is limited by about how high you can pitch up this uh, camera. And unfortunately, the camera on this is, is fixed. So we're, I'm tilting my head. I'm trying to see the view. But let's go by as fast. That's about its top, top speed that I can see the ground or see the horizon with it. Because I am recording this. Let's try maneuverability. We'll try some hard turns. It can do them. That's a good, good flyer. <laughs> I didn't want to end up in the tree again. And again, it's got a nice protective ring around its, uh, nice protective ring around its um, props. Okay, it's still flying here. I've been flying for a while. Good flight time on this thing. I am impressed with the flight time, actually. Most of you only get you up to like two minutes and 30 seconds. This one's still going at 3.36. You want a slow fly by here. I'm going around the tree. Going under the tree. And now my lights are starting to blink here. Low flight times for 6.7 volts. I'm going to bring it in. There. Let me go around the tree. Yeah, 6.5 volts coming in. <laughs> and uh, disarming. So all in all, yeah, nice little flyer. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Let me get my, my camera. The Maker Fire, Aurora 90. Very nice quadcopter, folks. Very maneuverable. Um, nice quadcopter. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out.